Hello guys, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about Maven, which is the dependency management and build management tool. Now, why do we need Maven in our Selenium automation? We'll also discuss about the advantages of using Maven and what exactly uh, do we mean by the dependency management when we say, uh, you know, managing the dependencies in our project. Now, in the previous tutorials, we have simply saw the uh, installation uh, steps and then how you can configure your Selenium um, web driver in Eclipse ID and then uh, configure your development environment, get your browser drivers and set it all, all up and actually launch the browser on one uh, on on the respective browsers. Now, all this that we have learned in previous few tutorial was very sort of manual uh, when we saw the downloading of the dependency which is the selenium standalone jar that we have downloaded if you see here so 3.141.59 and then we have also downloaded the um, browser drivers like chrome driver firefox driver which is the gecko driver and the edge driver if you want to run your test case on any other browser then you have to download that particular browser version as well that maps to the browser that is installed on your machine now say for example tomorrow there is a new release right so this is the uh, version 3 of the selenium server now there will be another version that will be coming up selenium 4 so what you have to do is you have to download selenium um, server standalone 4 and then uh, configure that in the eclipse again now, when it comes to the browser drivers uh, like Chrome driver or Gecko driver, it's sort of same. If you have upgraded your browser to a latest version, then the browser driver that you might be using now might not be supported for the later or the latest version that you have upgraded to. Okay. And in all those instances, you have to basically download the new versions and verify that it is compatible with uh, the browser that you're using and then you are also using the latest um, Selenium web driver. So uh, just to avoid all this manual, you know, um, effort, Maven is the dependency management tool that you can utilize to have those dependency, dependencies downloaded automatically and configured um, uh, and available on your development environment. So let's understand this with one of the diagram here. So say for example, usually in any of the automation project or in any testing project, you will have a team of people working on, you know, um, the functionality to develop the automation script. So say for example, hypothetically here is the team um, that uh, is working on different features and automating different features. So for example, developer A is, uh, you know, uh, working on certain feature. He is using uh, a particular defined uh, version of Selenium uh, web driver. And he's also, you know, using some other dependencies uh, or the jars that are required. Say, for example, screenshot, taking screenshot is using some other utility or for the reports, he's using some other uh, jar. Is using um, another jar for the um, uh, you know reading the files like Excel file etc so all those jars that he's importing or the external jars need to be uh, of a specific version and they need to be consistent across the your whole team right because if the version of the jars that developer A is using is different uh, in order to develop his script then the uh, version of the jar that developer f is using then if both of them check in their code before they leave for the work uh, in the version control so in this case uh, you know github and um, next day when they come back and they check out the code and start working so for example developer a is working on the latest version of the jar and he has written some script based on the latest version or and in the latest version there are some new classes that he has used so the code that he has written with the latest version of the jar 
might not work with the older version because the other people who are working in team like F, E, D, C and B, they haven't updated the latest version of the jar in their machines yet. So um, they have to go through the check-in uh, codes of developer A and see what he has changed and then if they'll figure out that yes, they, he has used the new jar, then they, everyone has to go in and download the new version of the jar or versions of the jar if he has updated multiple jars and then they all have to rework on their development environment to set it up as per the latest version or the changes that have been made. So this happens very often if you're not using any dependency management tool and that's where uh, Maven comes in picture and will help you to manage these dependencies or any sort of jars that you're using external jar to manage them automatically uh, for all the users in your team. Now, same thing is true for the uh, your browser drivers as well, right? So for example, uh, today uh, you are using the browser driver of um, version 2 dot something and then tomorrow there is a new browser driver available for Chrome. You basically need to update the browser driver as well as per the new browser that is available for that particular uh, browser. So in that case as well, you need to um, manage that dependency across the team so that individually each and every person in your team doesn't have to go in and download the specified version of browser or the dependencies or jars and import it in their local development environment. Okay. So that is why you need the dependency management tool and Maven is very popular and heavily used across, you know, a um, lot of organization and it's very easy to understand and set up Maven and to manage dependencies in Maven. So we'll, we'll start with uh, Maven setup and understand how it can help you in managing the dependencies. So let's go ahead and understand the installation of Maven first. So if we go to the Eclipse here, right? So by default, Eclipse comes, uh, Maven comes packaged in Eclipse, okay? So if you go to Window and go to Preferences, you will see Maven is already present in the Preferences, right? It's an add-on which is already present. So in Eclipse, you don't need to do anything. It comes by default, right? But this is, um, you know, available only within Eclipse. If you are, you know, trying to run your um, code through Eclipse, it's fine. It will be fine. You know, you can create a Maven project in Eclipse and you can run, um, you know, Maven within Eclipse. But when it comes to, you know, like the build tool, because Maven is also a build tool, it's a dependency management and a build tool. So it can manage dependency and build as well. So if you are doing a build through command line or using Maven as a build tool, then you have to get it installed on your local machine, okay? So to install Maven, we simply will Google uh, Maven uh, installable and it's nothing, it just have to um, download Maven and set up. So just simply type download Maven and download the zip file. So I'll simply pick up this uh, binary zip archive file. So simply click on that and save it on your machine. So in order to set it up, you simply have to um, download it, unzip it in the specified location, and then you have to set up the environment variable or the path, okay? So once it is downloaded, uh, let's open the download page and I'll copy this file and put it into my C drive here. So I'll just create a folder uh, with the name Maven. So I know where exactly uh, this is placed. So let me create a folder Maven and just put the file here and unzip the contents here. So I'll unzip contents so you can see Apache Maven and if you go to the bin you will see that Maven uh, is present right so now what we have to simply do is we just have to set up the Maven home okay so we'll simply copy this path 
okay and go to your environment variable so i can simply type environment variables and open the environment variable um, you can simply do that or if you want to navigate through your pc so just right click on the pc um, click on properties right and go to advanced system properties and you can click on environment variable here you'll get to the same window okay so below system variable what like we have set up the java home we'll say we'll see uh, we'll say uh, maven home and set up that variable okay so we'll simply click new variable and just say mvn underscore home okay and paste the value or the location of the maven directory so click ok and maven home has been set up now so sim similar to java home if you see java home right so it it is the path up to jdk excluding the bin right so similarly maven home is the path up to the maven folder excluding bin now we'll go to the path variable as well so simply go to the path variable and open it okay and i'll simply say new and you can set up the environment variable or in the path variable as well including the bin uh, directory so you can either do a uh, percentage uh, mvn underscore home okay and then again percentage backslash bin or you can directly copy the whole path up to the bin where you have your maven and paste the location here okay so either ways this will be fine so click ok okay close it and your maven has been set up and should be available now how you can verify that maven has been set up on your machine so simply open command prompt okay and type mvn version okay and now it should give you the version or the apache maven version that that is available on your machine so now you can see apache maven 3.6.3 .3 is available so now we have understood why we are using maven as part of this tutorial series why it is required we'll be using maven to manage the dependencies and then in future tutorials we'll also use it to do the build management and use it um you know when we are doing the jenkins build and all in the advanced tutorial so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching